players like that. Stop talking like that. You never know who's listening. Okay, you wanna know about this world? This used to be a sweet land. Then the diamonds ran out. Now the mercenaries fight each other like hyenas over a corpse. There are two sides. First, there's the APR. These men answer to an ex-military commander, Oliver Tambosa. The man is a fucking chameleon. You won't see his true colors until it's too late. But you're probably asking, what is the APR fighting? They fight the UFLL, a band of mercenaries, led by a man with a dangerously short fuse. Eddie Bantuwe. But there's another one. They call him the Jackal. Jackal has become a phantom. Not how the Jackal is a real supernatural creature. Burned his own house on the ground. I don't know if he's a lunatic or a visionary. The Jackal. That's the rumor is he's starting his own offensive. It's gone. I mean, completely. The Jackal? Come on, guys in arms. Who'd want to kill a guy like that? Peggy 18. Not yet, not yet. Here we go. Good. Jace, look at this place. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Paradise. Hey, Nikki, where are we again? Island's not on the map. Let's hit it. Do some exploring. And there's our boat. Whoa! <laughs> Where did you find this guy? <laughs> hey, Doug! Check this out. Are those real? You getting this? You recording? Oh, yeah! My man Jason brings the heat! Oh, hey, put your down! Go now! Go, go! Okay, we got it. We're, 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 we're leaving. Let's go, man. What a dick! Okay, hey, okay. Well, that's hey. the last one. Cheers, guys! Cheers! Hey, Doug. That's what I'm talking hey. about. Bring the 
fucking easy, man. Just fucking pull the fucking trigger. What do you want from me, man? Let's go, man. Shoot me. No, come on. Shoot me, motherfucker. Let's go. Shoot me, motherfucker. Come on. Oh, fuck. I've never seen a bigger bunch of pussies in my life. Hey, listen, man. The bitch is worth a lot of money, but you and your fucking asshole friend. You're not even worth Look, a bullet. Come on, man. What are you... Passport. Breathe. I'll do the talking. Passport. Jaldi, jaldi. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words 
sound the same. That it got out of control? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! You fucking Jaffer, you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you... If you threw to monkeys, they just... throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to... get a little... Right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on our grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Should I stay or should I go? Pre-order now for a free upgrade to the limited edition. Includes three extra story missions and a bonus Impaler Harpoon Gun. Pre-order now. Far Cry 4. Available November 18th, 2014. It is the end of the Ice Age. And death for man comes swift and often. Over the next five minutes, you'll experience the harshest time in the history of mankind. This is how Far Cry does the Stone Age. You are Takar, a seasoned warrior of the Winja tribe, known as the Beastmaster. To survive, you must embark on a savage adventure filled with brutal weapons, warring tribes, and mystical journeys. Takar and his people are at the very bottom of the food chain, threatened by man and beast alike. To overcome his many foes, Takar has powerful weaponry at his disposal. Durable clubs, versatile spears, and various forms of the deadly bow and arrow create the foundation of his arsenal. He can craft even deadlier weapons using rare materials found throughout the world. The double bow and arrow takes out two enemies at once, and the addition of fire can turn a cave bear into a flaming ball of destruction. Berserker bombs turn enemies against each other, while bee bombs create lethal distractions. Slings, traps, and other weapons round out Takar's equipment, affording him unlimited creativity in how he approaches each threat. Especially when confronted with fortresses and strongholds brimming with dangerous warriors. Takar has his own special mastery. With the ability to tame and command wild beasts, he ascends from prey to predator. His constant owl companion provides many benefits, from aerial scouting to executing enemies. And other animals provide a variety of useful abilities. With badgers terrifying other wildlife, great cats stealthily eliminating enemies, and bears causing mayhem in combat. Some animals can also be ridden, granting Takar mobility in battle and across this great expanse of land. In order to save mankind, Takar will have to conquer other tribes. Led by the maniacal Ur, the Udam are vicious cave dwellers that attack upon sight. For them, 
Hunting man is no different than hunting beasts. Meat is meat. The only people the Udam hate more than the Winja are the Azila and their merciless leader, Batari. Worshippers of the Sun God, the Azila enslave their victims and terrify foes with their mastery of fire. Wildlife is not the only thing that is plentiful in this world. Lush landscape provides the materials to Kar needs to craft his wide assortment of tools. A gifted hunter, Takar can read every facet of his environment. In order to rebuild his village, he'll need to use these talents to find, rescue, and protect lost members of the Winja tribe. To unlock the full potential of his village, Takar must acquire the resources necessary to build proper shelters. Newly recruited specialists help advance various techniques and a larger population allows for the spiritual journeys that might just save the Winja from extinction. <laughs> Nightfall poses many new dangers, even for a Beastmaster, as there's nothing more terrifying than being hunted in the dark. Human survival hanging in the balance, and his life in constant peril. Takar must fight against all odds to rise above extinction. February 23rd. We must atone! No! No! Something is coming. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel that we are creeping towards the edge. I know that you were out there. And I know that you were in pain. But my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice. And you can choose a better path. We want you. We accept you. And we will take you. Willingly or not. And some of you may fight. But in the end, you will thank us. I am your father. And you are my children. just kids when the bombs dropped and the world went to shit they said it was supposed to be the end of everything but for us <laughs> it was just the beginning surviving nah we were better than that this new world had a lot to give and we took it all that's how we came out on top. That's how we got here. 
That's how we found you. Listen here, rabbit. You need to understand something. The only currency left in this world is power. We're gonna take everything from you, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. It's beautiful, Migo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. No. I... The grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Now. I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. <laughs> they will answer you with screams. Call you evil, a monster, and give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country is like this grenade, except it has two 
basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight or we all go. Boom. Watch more from Far Cry 6.